welcome back to Ghana Money King Kong. I'll give you tips, tools, and deals for you to be able to save money, stay safe, and just look across the Ghana market. If this is the first time you're joining us, please do subscribe if you like. Join us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, across the social media channels, and get the conversations going. We want to discuss a very important and critical topic for you and me, and that is life insurance. Whenever you talk about life insurance, the first thing that comes into mind is death. And it is something that our culture and our lifestyle, we, we, are, not, we are not comfortable to talk about. We talked about wills a couple of weeks ago and I think it's been helpful. But there's also another aspect of our whole investment or our whole lifestyle which we have to start looking at. And that is life insurance. There's a lot of companies who offer life insurances across Ghana. And what all that life insurance is about is if you pay up a premium, if you pay up a money monthly or periodically, when you die, that money will go to somebody you nominate. So it is not money that you can have access to, no. But supposing you are not there, that money goes to somebody. What that means is it's very, very important and it is a life choice to which if you take would benefit you. I remember I took up life insurance way back about, I mean, I mean, I can't even, I was really young and that decision was good because afterwards I just feel that it's just helped my lifestyle in terms of my, what I think about whether I'm going to die or not and when I'm going to die. So the first thing that I want us to consider is how life insurance protects your family and loved ones. Yes. Because sometimes you, you don't know when you're going to die, okay? But then that money, which would be given to your family member or which would be given to your kids or which would be given to your, your, your loved ones, would protect them. Because at the moment, you earn money. And so the money that you get, it's being used in the household or it's something that the family is depending on. People are depending on you. That what that life insurance money would do is it will just keep that relationship. It will just keep that action going because that money will still then be available to them. So it's something that you need to consider. Number two, you can leave it as an inheritance. I don't know whether you have any assets or you have any property. I don't know. But not everybody would be able to buy a house and leave it for their family and loved ones. But then life insurance could then be used as a form of in, in, in investment or as a form of inheritance, which you can then give it out to your beneficiaries. So when you die and you nominate that this amount of life insurance should go to this particular person or this particular people, then it becomes an insurance for them. Number three, to pay for expenses and debt. Because Maybe whilst you're leaving, you have some loans going or you have some mortgages that you are paying into. But then when you are gone, who is going to pay that money? Because the bank or the financial institution, they're not, they're not going to let it go. So what that life insurance does is it will just make money available for that debt to be paid. The other thing that we should also think about is the funeral cost. Once you're gone, the family is going to pay up to organize your funeral. And that money could then be well used for the funeral cost. So that is very, very key. Number four, financial security. Supposing you have family, you have kids who are growing. You don't know what they are going to be in future. If you were there as a dad or as a mom, as a parent, your income would have been helping them as they grow. What life insurance would do is the amount of money could then be saved for them as they grow. And so some people will save that money for their children's wedding or for the first car or towards their education. Because you don't know what, what, what type of education do you want them? Are they going to be paying into their university, their college? Do you want them to go to abroad or to a specialist institution? That money could then be stashed out there for them so they use it. So it helps the family in terms of Financial security. Number five, peace of mind. And that is my big thing. I mean, for 
for you to be able to take up such a policy afterwards you realize that you are not so much worried about what your family situation is going to be when you are not there because it's money which will be given to them and in most cases it's a lot of money it's looking at how much you pay into and because we don't know when we are going to die it will just give give you that peace of mind not being so much worried about the people and the loved ones you're leaving look at these reasons okay and and it's not it's not something that you need to be pressurized into but just think about it speak to insurance companies in ghana there's a lot of insurance companies in ghana who offer these these policies and the right choice is good for you how much premium you are paying into how much money your family is going to get when you die and and make your decision thank you for watching i hope this helps join us instagram twitter facebook and let's just get the conversation going